so much for clicking on today's video as you saw from the thumbnail and the title we're going to be bringing back an old series from the channel called will it g fuel where we take two separate g fuel flavors mix them together and see if they can create an all new flavor profile a new combination and taste really good together and we're going to bring it back with two banger flavors and that is sage mode which is a white peach and pomelo flavor as well as ice shatter which is a blueberry lemon frosted kind of flavor so these two mixed, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Super excited, like standalone, these are really, really good flavors. If you saw my tier list video uh, from the last upload, you know that these are very high up on my tier list. So let's see what happens when they mix together. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna grab my shaker with 16 fluid ounces of water and a couple of ice cubes to keep it nice, cool and refreshing and as always. And if you didn't know the way you mix flavors, I guess it's pretty obvious, but you're just gonna take half a scoop of each flavor. And yeah, let's see what happens. Both of these flavors are pretty strong. So I'm kind of worried to see how they're gonna clash together because normally when you mix flavors, you kind of want maybe two mellow and more mellow flavors. If you have one really strong one, one mellow one, the strong one is obviously gonna overpower it. So let's see what happens here with this flavor. So we're gonna grab roughly half a scoop. Obviously you can't get an exact amount, but try your best. So here's the ice shatter half. Actually, that's quite a lot. Hold up. All right, so here's the ice shatter component. Boom, get that in there. And then now we'll move on to the sage mode part of the drink. And y'all, if you want to know what these flavors taste like separately, please go check out my four reviews on the channel. So you can pause this video real quick and then come back later when you know what both of these ones taste like. So yeah, here we go. Here's the sage mode half of the flavor. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Nice and easy. It's looking very good indeed. So before we do mix it, I do want to go ahead and like let y'all know what this flavor is actually going to be called, just in case you feel want to come out with it in the future. But I think a good name for this flavor combination is going to be Sage Shatter. Let me know what you think of that flavor name. I think it's really, really cool. I was thinking of like ice mode, but that's kind of weird, right? So I think Sage Shatter is a much better option. So yeah, that's what we're going to call it. So let's go ahead and get a serving of Sage Shatter mixed up. There is the lid. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very sage modey right now with the orange, the light orange color. But yeah, all that's left to do is do a one to one and a half minute shake session as always. So let's do that right now. All right, y'all, here we have it, the shaken up sage shatter flavor profile. And as you can see, I can't tell that there's ice shatter in it. It's completely orange, completely sage modey in terms of the color. Well, ice shatter is kind of like this translucent kind of whitey gray. So maybe that's why it doesn't have like a really pronounced color. So I guess the orange is just, you know, overpowering that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get a quick smell test of the shaken up sage shatter flavor. I'm expecting more ice shatter because it's quite a strong, you know, candy blueberry lemon smell, but let's find out. Yeah, I mean, as I expected, it's pretty citrusy, but just to keep in mind that Sage Mode also has a citrus component to it, you know, and it's one of the more citrusy uh, peach flavors that G Fuel have to offer. So it's very strong in the citrus, very nice. There is a slight peach smell coming through. So right now the flavors are complementing each other quite nicely. Let's see if that translates over into the drink though. But before we do that, can you please drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed so far, subscribe if you want more content from me in the future and comment what you think of these flavors separately. And if you've mixed them, let me know what you think of this, the combination down below. But yeah, that's waste no more time. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Sage Shatter, let's get it. Ooh, pretty interesting there, lads. Like it's, not what I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. The peach is kind of taking a back seat right now. Like I was expecting quite heavy, you know, peach notes, but I have to say both of the tarty citrusy elements of both of the flavors. So that's the lemon for the ice shatter. And then, you know, the kind of white peachy effect and the pomelo of the sage mode. Definitely the citrus and, you know, the tartness is at the forefront of the flavor. But when you like, you know, take a few sips, you do get that kind of undertone of peach in there, but 
I think the lemon and the citrus and the tart is so overwhelming and so powerful that the peach is definitely taking a back seat. But once you like scratch beneath the surface, it is there, but it may not be, you know, as prominent as you may want if you're a big fan of peach, right? Although, having said that, the peach is coming through a little bit more now. Like, as you keep on drinking, I think you get used to the tartness and the sourness. And then, you know, because of that, your taste buds kind of recalibrate. And then they're finding the notes of peach in there. So it's actually really good. You know, I think the best way to sum it up is it's a more tarty, more citrusy version of Sage Mode. And Sage Mode is already pretty citrusy. So, you know, if you're not a fan of citrus, lemon, you know, kind of sour effect in your mouth and while you're drinking it, I wouldn't recommend this because... I think Sage Mode is already on that, you know, cusp of being pretty tart and pretty citrusy. So if you're not a fan of that, I wouldn't go for it. But, you know, but in contrast, if you love your citrusy, tarty flavors, I think this is definitely one you're going to enjoy. But be prepared because the peach, as I mentioned, does take a back seat. So it's pretty citrusy, tarty up front. And then there's kind of fruity, peachy flavors at the rear of the flavor. But yeah, I think as we do on this series... You know, you either give it a thumbs up for yes, it will G Fuel or a thumbs down if it won't G Fuel. In my opinion, this is getting a thumbs up for me. I think it definitely does G Fuel, but with the caveat that it's super fluent loaded with citrus and, you know, that punch in your mouth tartness that G Fuel does produce. But yeah, mm, really, really good. Let's move on to a rating for Sage Shatter. I think that as flavor combinations, flavor mixes go, this is one of the better ones I've tried. So I think we're gonna give it an 8.7, ladies and gentlemen, 8.7 out of 10 for Sage Shatter. Mm. Definitely a mix I'm willing to try again. This is very pleasant. As I said, I love both of these flavors, so I didn't really expect it to be, you know, a bad flavor mix because both of them alone is so good. So mixing them just adds more to it. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy today. Make sure you smash the like button if you are excited for the return of Will It G Fuel. I've got a lot of flavor mixes lined up for the future. And if there is a flavor combination or a mix that you want me to try, please comment down below and I promise I will make a video on it. So if you wanna see two flavors and you don't have them and you wanna know what I think of the mix, comment down below and I'll get to it. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day.